Hi, this is Lisa Love. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. So when I first started this channel, I knew that I wanted to share topics that would inspire people to live a happier and more joyful life. And I felt like starting with my love for the way of mastery was a great place to start. Um, but today I want to talk about something completely different. It doesn't have to do with the way of mastery. Um, and it's about my passion for food and health and sharing the knowledge that I have about the food industry and how they make us believe that the foods that are available for us to eat are not unhealthy for us and even in some cases healthy for us when in fact they're the things that are causing most of the disease and illness in the world. I've always had a natural tendency since I was a teenager to um, be on the healthy, healthy side of things. I quit drinking soda when I was about 18, 17, 18 years old. Um, I quit eating red meat and pork around that time as well, simply because it just didn't make me feel good and I just knew it couldn't be good for me. Same with soda, it just didn't feel right when I drank it. I didn't feel good when I ate red meat and pork, I just didn't feel good. And then when I had um, my kids in my early 20s, I became even more interested in health and what was good for my family and what wasn't. And I started to learn about things like antibiotics and herbicides in our meat and in our dairy, and that they were linked to certain things like kidney disease and obesity and diabetes and heart disease and depression and autism and um, Alzheimer's that I just knew that I didn't want my children to be exposed to these things. I also learned about things like artificial sweeteners, uh, saccharin, aspartame, sucralose and other artificial sweeteners and their effects and I actually learned about that um, because several of my family members had had adverse effects to these artificial sweeteners from seizures to rashes to migraines. Then I became aware of hydrogenated oils like canola oil, cottonseed oil, um, soybean oil, and corn oil. And what hydrogenated oils are are oils whose structure has been altered to prevent it from going rancid. It goes through a process of caustic refining, bleaching, and degumming, all of which involved high temperatures or chemicals of questionable safety which are dangerous to our health. However, this process does increase its shelf life and saves money for food manufacturers. So the list just started getting longer. And as time went on, I started questioning what other ingredients were in the foods that I was eating. And I learned then learned about monosodium glutinate and actually I learned about monosodium glutinate from a co-worker of mine who had been rushed to the hospital one night via ambulance for an ad rever adverse reaction to monosodium glutinate that scared the heck out of me and I learned that it was in Chinese food that it's just a flavor enhancer and I did some research on it and I learned that it could cause brain damage, it could lead to nervous disorders and cause radical hormone fluctuations, as well as rashes and migraines. So that was something I started making sure my family wasn't eating. And then I learned about high fructose corn syrup. And I realized it was in almost everything that we were eating. It was just, it's a cheaper form of sugar basically for the food manufacturers. It's cheaper for them to use high fructose corn syrup than it is to put natural sugar in there. Um, high fructose corn syrup can cause weight gain, type two diabetes. Um, it plays a role in metabolic syndrome, which has been linked to many diseases, including heart disease and certain cancers. And just the fact that it's used just to save the corporation's money should be a red flag. So all of this really concerned me and I started making sure to, when I read labels, you know, that I didn't purchase things with those things in them. But I still wasn't 
convinced about all the other words that I couldn't read, like dextrose and dextrin. And I tried looking many of these words up to see what I could find, but nothing really stuck out at me. It was just like an altered form of sugar or, you know, flavor enhancers or things, but I didn't, I didn't have any, um, I didn't find anything or know anybody who had adverse reactions to these specific other things. And just for some reason, I just felt like, okay, not everything can be harmful for you. I mean, it wouldn't be allowed in our food, right? If, if all this stuff was that harmful. Boy, was I wrong. So it hasn't been until about the last two years that everything really started to click for me. And one of the things, it, it's not so much about me learning that what all these other ingredients were and linking that to some sort of illness or disease or, or adverse reaction. It was really, I started to understand the food industry in general and how things were set up. And what I've come to learn is that there's no money making in healthy people and that I'm just gonna call them the elite. The companies and the people that own pretty much everything in the world. So it hasn't been until about the last two years that I've become fully aware of what's going on in the food industry and how it's up to us as individuals to take full responsibility for our own health. Know exactly what it is that we're putting into our bodies. Uh, the Food Babe is a website that I use um, Vanny Hart, she has done a tremendous amount of research into this stuff. I'm going to include links in this um, in the show description below to many articles and, and sites that I got some of this information from, or just to back up some of this information. But she's an excellent resource. She, uh, I'm going to include a link that to all these different ingredients and their adverse effects. In the last two years, I've I've had heard about GMOs, but I hadn't, um, I didn't really quite understand them. And then I learned about Monsanto's company and how they're a leading force behind the widespread use of genet genetically modified seeds. They own so many companies and their <laughs> genetic, genetically modified seeds are used in so many products that are out there on the store shelves. It's frightening to me. But then I watched this movie on Netflix called The Magic Pill. It's a documentary on food and linked to disease and I highly recommend it to, to everyone. I'll also put a link to that in the show notes. Um, and then I watched this movie Sugar Coated. Um, Sugar Coated is about the sugar industry uh, about the cover-up of sugar, how it causes heart disease, but we were all led to believe that it didn't and it was fat that was causing heart disease. It's also an amazing movie and it just made me really start putting the puzzle pieces together. It got to a point where I didn't, I don't need to know what all the words that I can't read on a box are and the adverse effects to them because what I figured is if I can't read it, I shouldn't be eating it. It's probably to benefit the, the corporation that produced it to make it have a longer shelf life or save them money or just enable them to be able to produce it and package it the way that they do with no concern for the effects of our health. And the main cause of cancer are the fake foods that we're eating and the chemicals that we're putting into our body. And I guess the point of this video is it's your responsibility to know this because it's not going to be made aware to you on mass media. You're not going to see this on the news and you're not going to see it on the news because the same corporations that own these news channels also own the biggest food and pharmaceutical and chemical companies as well as healthcare and insurance companies across the planet. So they, are in control of everything. And I know it sounds like a crazy conspiracy theory, but it is the only thing that makes sense. We know there are cures for cancer. 
we, I mean, you watch these shows like The Magic Pill, you're gonna see that, oh my God, it's, it's all this fake food we've been eating that has been causing this heart disease and the diabetes and all these diseases that we didn't used to have, you know, 50, 60 years ago. And once you start to put the pieces together and understand that this is a money-making industry, from the food we eat to the pharmaceutical companies, um, to the healthcare and the insurance industry, it becomes easier to understand. So don't let yourself be a victim of the elite's agenda and their evil money-making schemes and start taking responsibility for your own health and your family's health. Know what's in the food you eat. Um, learn how it can be the primary reason for all of your health problems. And please watch The Magic Pill. Check out The Food Babe. Watch Sugar Coated and do your own research on your health and wellness. I wish you all a long, happy, and healthy life, and thank you so much for tuning in. And please also check out my podcast if you haven't already, and lighten up. We can be found on iTunes um, or go to our website, www.lightenup.us. Thanks so much for tuning in. Bye.